it's day two in turning a quilt into a dress and while I ran into some challenges yesterday um, I feel like it worked out in the end I did have to Frankenstein some pieces together but I don't think it'll show in the end and I think this will just read as a all-over crazy quilt so I think the mistakes I don't even think they'll show so today I have to uh, finish uh, putting my second panel of scrap blocks together to use as the sides and I have to quilt that um, it's a little bit smaller than the first one so I think it'll go even quicker uh, and I liked them better than I thought I would so I think in the future I'll experiment with some scrappy blocks I'm not usually a scrappy quilter I do not hold on to scraps the only scraps I hold on to are the Kona cottons from my leftover legit kits and I keep them in a file so I think I might experiment with more scrappy, especially using Kona's to do scrappy blocks in the future because I really like the way the first one turned out. It was just a lot of fun. So I have to finish the first scrap panel yardage so I can cut my sides out. As soon as I finish that, I can cut my front and back sides and then start sewing things together. And that's where it gets really exciting. Once I get those sewn together, I still need to figure out a zipper. So we'll probably have to go zipper shopping and um, then I'll make my underskirt out of the sparkle tool and I'm really excited about that because uh, something I don't know what it is but something about tool and, and underskirts and fluffy and <laughs> I get really excited I think it's also an easy project for me so after doing the curves of the dress it's nice to just kind of work on the straight uh, fluff of an underskirt and I think it also just means that we're getting close to finishing. Um, I have a couple surprises along the way. I have been looking for the perfect pair of shoes to wear with this dress because I also wanted them to be comfortable because I plan on wearing this at quilt shows and uh, maybe for extended periods of time and I wanted something really comfortable. I think I found just the thing. So stay tuned for that surprise and then I still have the rainbow tool. But as I got to looking at the rainbow tool, I realized it's a little more pastel than the dress is. So I'm going to have to experiment with it and see how it looks, especially since it'll only be a single layer of tool over the dress. It might blend in nicely. It might just read too pastel for the dress, which is a lot of like jewel tones and primary colors. So I'll experiment with that. If I have to find something different, I will. And maybe we'll go shopping for that too. So uh, today I'm gonna finish my second scrap panel. I'm gonna cut out my sides. I'm going to start sewing the dress together and finishing the seams. I have to cut out the interfacing and the facing um, to finish the raw edges. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for a strap, but I think I am gonna use tool. Um, maybe I, you will use a shiny tool for that. Um, and I think I can get that all done today. So let's go.
second panel is done. Now originally I talked about wanting to blend between front and back and then I talked about how I don't think it matters but once I got this panel done and then put this back piece on top of it I realized how nicely this does blend. The greens are down here, the warm colors are up there and I feel like I can't pass up this opportunity. So I'm definitely gonna cut a side back piece here and then I'll just map out where everything else fits and where everything looks good and run with it. So let's get some cutting done. That fits nicely. And again, I'm not worried about grain line because the fabric is quilted, so it's, it's stabilized. Actually, that looks nice right there too because the greens go into the reds.
Okay, I've got everything cut. So back, side back, side front, front that's already pinned together, side front, side back, back. I'll sew.
Great, it's the end of day two and I went ahead and quit because I ran out of storage on my camera and I'm still getting used to it and getting used to the idea that I need to pull files off because it's not an infinite amount of storage. So I was gonna call it done for today and deal with that. But I feel really good about the progress I made today. I got all of my pieces cut out and I got my slip cut out and uh, started cutting the tool for the, the puffy underskirt. Um, I need to get a zipper and I tried the invisible and that did not work out and I knew it wasn't going to but I had to try it because it's all I had. So we'll go shopping for zippers tomorrow. I need more tool so we'll get more tool tomorrow. And then in trying the slip on I think it's pretty big so I'm anxious to try the dress on and see if it's going to be big too. I mean I don't know why it wouldn't be if the slip is big and it's the same pattern. So I'm anxious to get it on and see how it actually fits. Worst case scenario, I will take the pieces apart and recut them at a smaller size. It's not the worst thing ever, and um, I don't even have to seam rip them. I would just, they'll tear apart easily. Uh, the thread will tear, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But that's tomorrow, and so we'll go zipper shopping. We'll finish the slip. We'll put the zipper in, so I'm excited about that. So, stay tuned.